probably the best garden feature that you could ever put in is some sort of water feature. There's something about it, it speaks to the psyche deep within us about water and survival and joy and relaxation. But the truth is, for most people all around Australia, when you go and look at their pond, it's half empty or maybe fully empty and the wretched thing leaks. Most ornamental ponds in most areas, in most gardens, leak. And this is a classic example. If you look at this pond, and it's a lovely pond, there's the overflow just there and you can see the water level is well below it. This pond has always been leaking. You spend your life wasting water, filling it up. And whenever you go out to look at it and relax, it looks half empty and well, the, the pots, the, the water plants are in are up out of the water and others are dying back a bit because the, the level is too low. There are products these days which enable you to fix this and fix it for at least a 10 year period. And it's not that difficult a job. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Clean this out, prepare it and fix it once and for all. And then all the fish, it's best to wait till you're nearly empty to remove the fish. You remove this dreadful stuff. Stuff at the bottom is called mulm, M-U-L-M. This stuff is fairly good liquid fertiliser. You could use this on the garden or whatever. It doesn't look great for a while, but it's great fertiliser. You could even put it on the lawns and then maybe hose it in. Before we gurney the pond out, we've got to look for all the bits we can find. Now, if you look here, you can see there's been an attempt to fix a guess at where the holes might be with some silicone. You can't leave that there. That has to be removed. So we'll try and scrape that out. Now, the other thing we found while we we're doing the job is where the major leak would be. If you just look there, there is a product to fill big holes like this and one's also like this in the corner where the silicone was. That's the next step after we've gurneyed it all out. Now, actually, instead of using a gurney, we're gonna try one of these. This is put out by Nita. It's about $8.60 or something like this. And it's a little brass nozzle for your hose and it nearly turns a hose into a high pressure washer. So we're gonna try it out to see whether this might get all the gunk off and clean the pond out to that level of absolute perfection. It has to be totally clean. There's a number of quite big holes and to plug them, we're gonna use a thing called Max Plug. This is what's known as a hydraulic cement. So you make it up sort of like putty, having wet down the areas first. This is what's so wonderful about it, it works at its best when the holes are wet. So if you've got holes to plug, it's really easy. Uh, so wet that down first, then it's pushed in, but you've only got three minutes. Once you mix this up, three minutes. And the great thing about it is once you push it in there, after or during the three minutes and beyond, it expands within the hole and fills it, which is it's just a wonderful, wonderful product. This is the second stage of the process, and this is a product called Max Seal Flex. It's a dry product, and then you actually add latex to it wet the pond down, paint it in. We will seal the entire pond with this. Very tempting to think you know where the, the leak is and only do that bit, that's wrong. Do the whole pond, then make, you, you've definitely got the leak. Nothing worse than filling it up and finding you've got a problem. We got the gray, you can get it in white, and we've actually tinted the gray. To be honest, we put oxides in, it hasn't tinted it as dark as we'd like. So when we do the second coat, and you have to do two coats, we'll probably add some tints for paint, which you can well do. But it's a thick, goopy material and with this latex base in it, I, I can't believe it's ever going to leak, but guaranteed for 10 years, which is pretty good. Well, we've got the two coats on, and you'll notice we've fine-tuned the colour, and it's matching the existing concrete look around it pretty well. So the only thing to do now is to start to fill it up and do all the rest. So we'll now start to put the water in. They're placed on last stage, having all the plants in, is to release the fish. Now, the fish have been floating in this water for a good hour, just to make sure the temperatures are the same. When you're putting fish into an outside pond, it's a great idea to get the ones with the single tails, and the bigger the better. Single tail ones swim faster, they're much more kookaburra proof, and the bigger they are again, the much more kookaburra proof. But there you are. The pond is now sealed, the plants are in, fish and everything will just let this settle and we will inform you whether or not this product holds water as well as it should. But at this stage, it's looking pretty good.